The downside of summer in Florence is the stifling heat. Here are our tips for keeping cool. Cool off in one of the city's many courtyards. Courtyards of famous Renaissance palazzi and cloisters of churches both make top-notch spots for escaping the heat, particularly when you pick one that's off the beaten track and less packed with crowds, like the Museo Novecento, which is quiet and yet in the summer hosts frequent fun events. Swap out your morning coffee or macchiato for a caffè chaccherato. Made using espresso and ice cubes, the caffè chaccherato isn't the iced coffee you're used to. In fact, it's probably better. You'll still be able to get your caffeine fix and your morning buzz going, but you'll swap the hot espresso shot for a dose of cool coffee. Indulge in a delicious gelato. It's one thing that nearly everyone in Florence can agree on. Gelato is tasty and offers sweet relief from the sun's rays. Treat your taste buds and temporarily forget the temperatures with a cold cone or cup of one of Florence's freshest flavors. Feel refreshed at one of Florence's seasonal outdoor venues. Get your sand and sun fix at Easy Living, the Arno Beach just below Piazza Poggi, home to the San Nicolò Tower. Sick of the sun? There are trees and umbrellas too. Take your pick. Escape the piazza and head to the pool. You don't need to take the train all the way to the beach to enjoy a swim. One of the most popular pools in Florence is hidden within the Cascine Park. Le Pavoniere can get a bit crowded, so go on a weekday if you can. No room in the deep or shallow end? Just go for a jaunt around the park, which also makes a shady refuge. And if all else fails, in Florence you can always count on museums. They may be preserving the statues, and the statues just might preserve you this summer.